Now, while I was working on a video for looking at Luocha and how good Luocha is, the amount of quality that Luocha will add to your account, I knew I had to do something else, at least before I did covering any other future characters. I had to do this. I did it for a lot of other games before when we've covered it, so I'm gonna be doing it again. And I know it's not gonna apply to everyone out there, I understand that it's gonna be a small minority of players out there, but I would be a giant hypocrite if I didn't do this, especially because it is how I feel and how I've always felt about gotcha games, period. And this was honestly sparked because I've seen so much, you have to pull for Luocha. You need to have Luocha on your account. And primarily that reason is because, well, Luocha is gonna be one of the only five-star healers that you can gain access to that actually has a banner that you can pull on in Honkai Star Rail. Right now we only have access to Natasha as a abundance character that can heal your team unless you gain access to Bailu. And then we have Luocha coming out. It's a banner you can pull on it. You can pull resources, you can buy resources, you can buy more summons to gain access to a second healer for your account. And he's getting really blown up over this because of that reason. He's one of the only other healers you can have. And all of those things, true as they may be, don't counterpoint this that this is a single player action RPG. Even if it was a multiplayer with PVP, this point will still hold true. Because this is a gotcha game and there's a lot of cool flashy characters we can gain access to. We can build teams around everything. It's fun, I understand it. That's why I love them. I love breaking things down for you guys that way. But because of the way that gotcha games are set up in the collection mechanics behind it, in the companies that will make games in a certain way, not to force you, but to sort of herd you towards pulling for different characters, I have to say that addiction is a very potent thing and a lot of games are set up this way to prey upon you. Not necessarily saying that this game is doing that specifically for this reason, but I've seen it before and so I had to make this video. If you're playing Honkai Star Rail, or maybe you just found this video, maybe your friend sent it to you, you're playing any gotcha game out there and you're starting to feel pressured to purchase things, to keep up with the meta, to get the new character. That is the first red flag you will have, is the pressure that you feel. That's your first red flag that you should not buy anything. If you're buying stuff because you're having fun, you have expendable income, you're using it as a source for fun in games, you won't feel the pressure to do it because it's just fun for you. But the pressure to do it comes from the fact that you might not have those expendable funds. You might not necessarily even want to have that character on your account. You might not care about them. You don't like how they look. You don't really care about the kits. You've just heard that it's going to help your account be better, make things easier for you. And that is the first red flag is that if you feel pressured to pull for something like that in that way, that you absolutely, absolutely should not do it. And like I said, truly, this is probably going to be for a very small amount of you out there, a true addiction to gambling, but how it starts could be through a gotcha game. It may be the first time you've technically gambled at all. Because if you're giving your money for an in-game randomized asset, you are gambling. Straight up, there's no other way to break it to you. It's RNG and you're putting money in. In my opinion, that is 100% gambling. Technically, it's not in a lot of places because, well, the virtual asset, you can't resell or monetize anywhere else. But in my opinion, that is gambling. So if you're feeling the pressure to gamble in that way, for something that is worth nothing at all, it's still gambling. And it's the first red flag for you to stop. And I understand there's a lot of things in this game where you wanna be able to get in there and get stuff done. Honkai Star Rail is what, like a month old at this point. Everyone's still working on the memory of chaos, trying to get some rewards. It has a reset for a reason, ladies and gentlemen, because you won't want to miss out on these rewards from missing out on the stars. It's fine, we've played Genshin before, we've played other gacha games here before. Every game starts this way. No matter how hard something is, it's truly easier than what you think it is because the game's brand new, you haven't had enough time to play the way that the game's actually intended for you to beat it eventually. And that's the key word, eventually. Over time, this will get easier because you will be able to level up your characters. 
easier, higher levels, more talents, more traces. You'll get stuff eventually. You don't need to feel pressure to race to the finish line right now, especially if it's going to lead to a detriment of you as a person, as an individual. It could take you down a very, very dark place that you don't want to be, that you don't need to be, all for the sake of a couple pixels in a game. And like I said, the vast majority of you aren't going to have this problem. It won't be a thing you need to worry about. But if you do, just feel that little itch of I need to have it because I heard it strong or I need to have it not because I want it, not because I have expendable income that I can instead go to the movies of doing that or going out for a nice dinner. I can put it on Honkai Star Rail and it only affects just me. I can maybe save a couple of dollars not eating some Big Macs. If it's something more than that, it could be the red flag that it's a big problem. And that would be a good reason for you to just put it down, put it away. And it might not need to come all the way to that for a lot of players out there. If you want to avoid some of these spending habits, maybe you're not going to be truly ended up a gambling addict, but you can do a lot of things. You can lock your credit card from being used. You can lock your Google account so you can't buy anything on this game for a while. Make it more restrictive for you to spend your money in a way that you might not actually want to. If you find out that you think that you're starting to acquire a bad habit in spending in games like this, do take the responsible measures that you can take. Some of them I just listed before to make it easier for you to not spend or just quit the game entirely. It's just a game at the end of the day. It might be fun, but guess what? But you're gonna have to ask yourself, how much fun is it really if it's becoming a problem for you, if it's becoming a monetary problem for you? If you're having to give stuff up so you can pull characters in this game, is that really a decision that you want to make? Is that the choice that you want to make? That's the question you have to ask yourself. And that's why addiction is so awful. It's because ultimately only you and you alone can make that decision to combat that addiction as much as you can, as much as you can, only you, you have the final say. Others can help you, but you have the final say. That's why they're so messed up in so many ways and so hard to break. And which is why I wanted to make something like this, because this could be your first inclusion of something like that in your life might have been genshin before might have been some other game final fantasy mobile game near automata mobile game could have been any of the other ones but if this is your first one and you're starting to feel kind of bad but you're still rationalizing it to yourself that it's okay I'm keeping up with the joneses i'm keeping up with the guides i'm gonna get the shiny things i'm gonna beat memory of chaos and that will make me feel good where does it stop from then? Is there gonna be a new character that comes out that you absolutely have to have because it makes your life a lot easier? And like I said, in a lot of these games, especially the PVP ones, it's even harder to break that cycle. But in a game like Honkai Star Rail, where it's single player, that's all there is to it. It's just single player, man. You're not really competing against anyone other than yourself, whether you pull or don't pull. The content's not going anywhere crazy. We've seen the kind of content they added to Genshin that Mahoyo has done before. And it's following in a very similar train here in Star Rail. The only thing that seems like it's ever gonna be difficult at all, at all. And I use the word difficult loosely because like I said before, things are harder at the start just because you don't have the resources that you can have to level your characters up fast enough to meet some of these resets. And that is where you will get got design wise in these games to want to spend more money, to get the new character, to upgrade your gear a little bit faster, to buy the battle pass because it has a little bit extra things that you can level your characters up in. And so if any of this is resonating with you, I just ask, not me dictating and telling you how to spend your money, but if any of this is resonating with you, just be aware. Keep track of your habits, especially if you're new to gacha games, period. It's going to be a new thing added to your routine. You're not going to notice it right away. But if any of these things we've talked about so far send some red flags to you yourself, then it's time to be a little bit more responsible. Keep track of your spending habits. If you need to exclude yourself from the game, please do so. It's just a game. At the end of the day, nothing's going anywhere. If you want to just double check and put it down for a little bit, let me tell you what, 
Honkai Star Rail is not going anywhere. All right. The great new event we had where we did middleweight to lightweight to heavyweight. It ain't going anywhere. You're not missing a ton of content. Okay. You're not missing a ton of stuff there. Because I don't want to be doom and gloom all the time. But I do want to have this video there. I do want to do this for every gacha game that I cover. I did it for Genshin. I did it for some other games back in the day. So I'm going to do it for Star Rail as well. It's not because I hate Star Rail. It's not because I hate Mahoyo or Hoyoverse. It's not because I'm out to get the company or I'm not a content creator program partner or whatever. It's just because it's what I want to do. And it's what I think is right to do and put out there. So if you want to share this, go for it. That'll be beautiful. Until then, make sure you give someone a call today, even if it's just to say hi. And I'll catch you guys for some pretty great stuff in the next one.